ran into the angry eye Indian outside the bank. You don't want to know what I saw Joe Scranton buying off the China. So they said. Hello. How do you Bits in his food? Not me, my dear. Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the knobs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Fairclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Relief to have the tool. Easy. A bear! Shoot it! Shoot it! Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Slow. Go there. Yeah. Find out. My God! My God! That was terrifying. I say we leave before any of its friends turn up. signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. 
all very well for you to say that perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir, have nothing but my innate instinct for self-preservation. This is it. Oh, there. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What does he say, Sebastian? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> oh, shit! Damn! Oh, Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down, now! Oh, they killed the stars! Nightmare! Do something quick! Just keep your head down! Never in all my days! You won't leave me alone in here, will you? What the devil? I don't know about you, Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. Yes, let's get out of this hell hole and back to civilization. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body has aged ten years. Stop moaning and ride. This can't be happening. Not again. Idiot. Just drop the gun. It ain't worth it. experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Ah, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. 